when I opened package with KZZSA. On first glance, resemblance with older brother KZZS6 was instantaneous. KZZSA features two drivers in each earbud, four in total. 8mm dynamic driver with armature unit should offer solid amount of details. Did I mention premium look and feel metal housing for 22.37 bucks, which is the price at the moment of recording this review. There is a link in the description box where you can find latest price and detailed specifications about KZZSA. So what is bad about this? Well, a few things, and I will tell you exactly what if you listen carefully. But first things first. Housing is made of metal, excellent CNC cutting, this looks and feels premium and expensive. Design is semi-open, and these in-ear monitors use standard cable connector, which means that you can use any KZ cable or Bluetooth adapter. It will work without any problem. Copper cable is rubberized with anti-tangling capabilities. Overall high quality and, to repeat, easily replaceable cable if needed. If we compare ZSA with ZS6, ZSAs are smaller, which is logical. I personally prefer bigger in-ear monitors, which can be complete nonsense as it is not relevant to actual performance. Overall, in-ear fitment is superb, as on previous models. Over-ear hook method is used and KZZSA stays in-ear perfectly. No matter what you do, they will stay inside the ear. And if default gel buds aren't good for you, there are three different sizes in total. I compared ZSA directly with KZZS6, which are still my favorite pair of in-ear monitors. And guys, few things about sound quality which can probably shock you. KZZSA sounds amazing. Or to be perfectly precise, unrealistically amazing. Again, I'm comparing with ZS6, which is benchmark for cheap in-ear monitors, which bring extraordinary sound quality. But ZSA is special breed. It is cheap and it sounds amazing. Bass and sub-bass are something to brag about, even in this price range. Bass is deep and punchy, no matter which type of song you are listening, ZSA will handle it perfectly, with its bass and sub-bass performance. Mid-tones and vocals are joy to listen, loud and crisp even in those overwhelming situations. Vocals are well-defined, just pure joy to listen to them. High tones are excellent, but not perfect. There will be situations of sibilance, which you can hear as s and sh, which is not a big deal, but worth noting. As mentioned before, ZSA are semi-open design, which means that sound leaking is present, but not groundbreaking people close to you will be able to distinguish what you're listening. Sound isolation is solid, but again, not perfect. When you go above 80% of volume, I wasn't able to hear anything around me. To conclude things, worst thing about KZZSA is fact that majority of skeptic people who watch this review will probably have those of skepticality about quality of sound output from ZSA. Also, the bad thing is that brand as KZ don't get enough of exposure as they managed over and over again to bring high quality product with competing price. My verdict is that if you want cheap pair of in-ear monitors to listen music and enjoy in life with this tiny piece of tech in your ears, go for it. You won't be disappointed, I promise you that. Don't forget to click subscribe button and turn on bell icon, in that way stay updated with latest videos from Revitech and until next time, see you!